So here we are again guys, here we are again. I said I wasn't going to do, you know, videos anymore on Love Island USA, but it seems that we're only just getting started. That is what it's seeming by this. Hey guys, it's Marad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my... M November? November? Yeah, we got a lot to talk about today. Subscribe guys, click that button, head over to my merch. It's not that serious guys, but clearly it is to Caleb. And you know, we have Justine's keeping it clean. I've got God forsaken liar. Um, two that you guys wanted that I've added to the merch store. And let's get straight into this video because we know I worked damn hard. I did a live last night. I was on live two hours, documented the live Q and A. Unfortunately, that video had to come down because I found out this morning that it's been demonetized. I don't know why it was demonetized. I don't understand. No music would be playing. I was just talking to you guys. That's why it's just, I don't know, it make very, doesn't make any sense. But we're basically going to analyze these specific tweets that Caleb, you know, put out. We're going to deep, deeply analyze them and just see what he meant by them. And he also explains a lot. He addresses Justine, charity, everything from his side. So we're going to get into them. My mustache is so big, man. I need the barbers to open. Anyways, this is my first time on Twitter in several weeks. I'll address a couple of things. You know what? You know when you did, before I get into this. I did, you know, I closed that door because the spirit of Caleb, but you know when there's, a, there's still a waft going around? Like, just, you know, that waft is still, listen, the door may be closed, but that smell, the waft of Caleb is still here. Oh, you gotta just air it out, air it out, man. Let's go. Oh, okay, so Caleb has come to Twitter to say, this is my first time on Twitter in several weeks. I'll address a couple of things. Perhaps it would allow several of you to gain the attention from me you've been so desperately begging for. My mentions are open. Now, this isn't the right way to, you know, begin something. I, I just don't think it is, to be honest with you. I really, really don't. Find that Twitter isn't the best way, first and foremost, for you to come on and express your feelings, to come on to, to discuss this type of, you know, important stuff. Go onto YouTube, make a video, address all of this, because when you write stuff down, people can interpret your tone quite different, number one. Number two, Twitter is the most toxic app. Number three, Twitter, people really just put these theories out about people and it just explodes into something and everybody just starts a hate train. So I feel like Twitter isn't the best way to really, you know, pour your outlet to explain stuff. You're just gonna go back and forth with people and it becomes very messy. So this is what I feel like isn't the, right is the right thing for him to do. For him to say, um, to allow several of you to gain attention from me, you've been so desperately begging for. Um, if people are wanting to get attention from you, what is the reason? Do you know what I mean? And this is what I find out, people like to deflect. We're gonna really just analyze this. What is the reason people want to get your attention or people wanna ask these questions or people are, are upset with you? There's, there's reasons for this and just explain the reasons. Don't come on here acting stush, acting, you know, like you're already just gonna, like, like you're on one for no reason because you're already putting people on the defense and you're already creating a very toxic toxic situation. Yes, there are people out there who are angry with you and have, you know, become toxic, but there's, there, there's a timeline of why and when. And what was the Isle of Chocolate shirts? Like, what was the thought process behind that? Of all things that went down, this is something I wish I would have done differently. Please know that it was a well-intended concept highlighting what was a special moment on the show. I had a strong hesitation about putting that out, but was assured by people around me that it was cute. I also want to add that it was neither my idea or design for that merch, but I did give it the okay, therefore um, it's something I take responsibility for. So is he now saying that maybe it was his manager, or maybe even Justine or something along the lines of somebody was saying something, but I'm glad that he cleared that up when it comes to, you know, the merch. Have you apologized to Justine to her face? I have not seen Justine in person since we publicly announced our split. Um, someone says she has an iPhone now. So again, he wanted privacy, lol. Here's your attention, he says. Uh, I just feel like this, the, he's, I feel like he's already on one. Why are you homeless, someone said. Hello, uh, thank you for chiming in. Why are you under the impression that I'm homeless? I appreciate the concern, but no need to worry, I'm, I'm not. Um, didn't you already do two long R statements and three Instagram video clips? He said, it's Twitter dummy, 280 characters or less. I just feel like my guy is angry and it's coming with that stance. And when you are like that and you're coming to this app, being angry and coming on Twitter doesn't create anything productive. It really doesn't, guys. It just, I don't know, Twitter is not the way, man. Um, did your fans or friends call Justine ugly and make fun of her wigs? None of my friends called Justine ugly, neither did any of my fans. It's an oxymoron to call yourself a fan of mine and use social media to spew hate towards others. Then somebody said, what about these people saying F Justine? And then he responded saying, I don't know these people. They're not my friends. So either that was a rumor that somebody started that has gone viral, 
But then there's also somebody called Kiera Simone, I believe, who was, who was seen with Caleb and was tweeting about Justine. So maybe that is what also people are speaking about as well. Um, I really don't want to be doing this video, guys. Like, I'm so tired of Love Island USA. But here we have Caleb acting mad, doing live on Twitter that I think nobody really expected. Like, nobody really expected. Like, I'm, uh, I'm very confused. Um, someone has asked, you know, why did you weaponize your fans to go after Mike when you were with someone else? He said, I think weaponize in this case is kind of an extremist term. But to address the Mike situation, I felt disrespected by Mike, someone I don't actually know, repeatedly posting those pictures. With that being said, I have nothing against him and I've heard he's a great guy. Now, he also expressed, somebody said, did you cheat on him, Justine? Um, um, did, you, did you cheat on Justine? And he said, no. And then someone said, when did you guys break up? And he said, November. So these, you know, pictures of frustration when it comes to Mike were, he was obviously expressing frustration about Mike in December. If you have broken up with somebody, yes, they're posting your pictures and it may be annoying, but if you have broken up with somebody, how are they disrespecting your relationship when there is no relationship? Technically speaking, in December, you guys were broken up, as you guys have said. So why would you be so bothered with Mike about him disrespecting your relationship by posting pictures if you guys had been broken up? Or he was posting something with Justine. He was with a girl that you weren't even with, technically speaking, because you guys broke up in November. So this is what I mean. Some of the timeline doesn't make sense. And also, um, he says in a, in a new in a Q and I believe he's gone private, so I can't track everything. But he did say um, that um, they do have private conversations, basically alluding to the fact that perhaps she'd known or that Justine is in on this, and also saying that you know. Um, she was bombarded by the picture, but she'd already known, and nobody wants to see somebody move on so quickly from your ex. Now, my thing is this, if you have broken up with somebody and you've already moved on with somebody else like within a month and you're so quickly, chances are you're probably talking to that other girl whilst you were in the previous relationship and you guys were just talking about when you were going to end the first one to be together. I feel like, you know, that is likely. It's not to be true because none of us were there, but it's a high likeliness that that could potentially have been a reality. Who knows? And I feel like that in itself is what has probably, you know, could be blindsided her and she didn't know that and she thought, you know, maybe there's something else. You're, you moved on so quickly with, the, with a different girl after breaking out with me was she always in the picture and behind the scenes this is what people find also quite to be quite weird and just to be you know definitely very very weird weird someone says you know i'm care to explain this in terms of the tweet that he says i'll never be with anything other than a mixed girl he says um he basically um, apologized and says, no, sorry, I can't. This is a wild tweet that didn't age well. I wanted to talk to several girls not mixed after that tweet. I've, see, I've also seen other old tweets reference. All I can say is that I used to be on Twitter acting a fool. I've been on Twitter for almost 10 years. Now that makes sense. Uh, I get that. Some people have seen, a, they tweet dumb stuff, especially a decade ago. And people do, do they, they do grow up from it. They do change from it. They do, you know, look back at thinking, what the hell was I tweeting? Like, I can understand why people would want to, you know, tweet dumps. I, I can understand why people would look back at it and think, what was I tweeting? So I, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt when it comes to that. But at the end of the day, it still makes you look very sus. Um, why would you put out the first statement? Why were you using me, we, instead of I? Were you throwing a, a Justin under the bus to save face? He said, if you're asking if I intentionally used the word we in a place of I, my breakup announcement to throw her under the bus, then the answer is no. She was blindsided by the picture. That's why I apologized to her about. Not the fact that we were split up. Hope that answers your question. But if you guys broke up, why would she feel blindsided? She was blindsided to see that I spent time with another girl. Not what anyone wants to see of their ex so soon after a breakup. So if, you've, if you're seeing somebody so soon after a breakup, were they always in the picture? There's a light in this, but it doesn't mean it's true. But basically saying that um, she wasn't blindsided by the breakup announcement because she knew about it, but more so the, the, the picture that she was seeing, so that he was seeing somebody else. Now he also says, um, Speak on your love bombing with my sister when you never had the intention to, someone said. I understand you'll do it regardless, but please don't make assumptions on my intentions. On the topic of love, we spent a lot of time together. I care deeply for her and all the other islanders. It's hard to describe the intensity of emotions whilst we're in the environment we were in. It was an enorm it was an enormous um, expression with enormous impact, something I was unaware of at the time. This is something we have since talked about with each other on multiple occasions. Um, that is what he is saying. Seriously, who are your PR people? don't have one. Well, that really makes sense. The guy has no PR. The guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's going off the bat of his friends, of, you know, I, I, this doesn't make sense. Um, the charity fraud, he says, this is a strange one for me. I've obviously heard the rumors, but I'm not in the loop on where they came from. To clarify, there has been no charity fraud. I have a track record of fundraising and bringing awareness to many causes going back years. Again, not really addressing the main question. I feel like that in itself, you know, is a little bit sus. And a lot of people now want 
you know, just need to speak out. Now, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm back and forth on this. I guess from an audience perspective, it would be nice to know her side of the story because me, as a viewer of Love Island, if something comes out about somebody or if one islander is speaking about something, the other one will generally respond. That has always happened, whether it comes to Gregory going on the Late Late Irish show, Amber going on the Loose Women show, then you have the Lucy You One Day situation, then you have this, then you have um, Luke M and whatever, I don't know what was going on. But whenever there's, there's a situation, both islanders are speaking up. Both islanders are saying something, they go back and forth or they have their own stories. So as a viewer, that's what I just expect. Um, and you know, he is kind of tarnishing her name and she does have a right and is entitled to either drag him or speak about it properly if she wishes to. However, I also am on the page that she doesn't actually have to say anything because you know, the guy that clearly spiraling out of control, why dig a deeper hole for any of the situation a mess and just can keep on moving on? Because clearly, yeah, um, I, so I'm kind of back and forth on this. I think either or can be a, a possible option. I don't know what you guys think, but I feel like for her health and for her mental health and for, for, for the best of her, I think it's best just to lay low and just stay quiet, I guess. Um, somebody also addressed the fact that the other Islander girls unfollowed him. He expressed that um, he has no hard feelings towards them. They probably did it in solidarity with Justine, but they might know something. What he keeps expressing, in one other message was that, oh, you know, these are my statements. This is my side of the story, Ex you know, explaining and that, you know, Justine has a whole different side. He, note, that he, note that he makes that very clear. He makes that very clear in the statements that this is my side of the story, my side of the reality that, you know, alluding to the fact that Justine has a whole different reality to the situation. So I do feel like if there's a whole different side of the, of the situation, your name is being tarnished, yeah, come out and defend your name. But at the same time, you also don't have to. So I can see it from both sides. But I thought I'd make a quick 10 minute video, guys. I'm just exhausted from this Caleb and Justine stuff. I did not expect to make another video, but here I am. Hopefully this is my last video. Hopefully we can just end it on this, guys. Because I feel like this Caleb and Justine stuff has been dragged out for so long, for the last three, four weeks. We're all now just tired over it. And this Q&A, he didn't need to do. You've done your Instagram stories. You've done the post. You delete them both. Now you're on Twitter Q&A. What is next? So I just feel like just make a video on YouTube and don't ever talk about it again. Because the more you talk about it, the more this keeps coming up and the more traction you're gonna get. So yeah, let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to all of this. Subscribe to the channel, click that button guys for daily and consistent content. Subscribe, 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 click that button and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.